Hi, my name is Ruben. I'm going to show you how to prepare your Rhino geometry uh, for laser cutting using Rhino Nest and AutoCAD. Rhino Nest will slice your geometry from the bottom and upwards, so I will start by rotating, rotating the geometry to reduce the number of slices. So next, I'll ask uh, Rhino Nest to do a slice in 3D. I select my geometry. It'll just be a while. Yeah, we're back. Going for next. Then uh, setting the thickness of my material. Uh, this is uh, two millimeters. Press compute. And you can see the slices uh, starting to appear. Okay, slicing is completed. Now I turn to the text part. I uh, select the kind of text I want. I use a 5mm uh, size text. Click Next. I don't want to see the object. And I would like to see the internal edges, so these are the ones. And then I'll just decide the position of the text uh, for each individual um, slice by clicking the the button up there. Now I'll just run through all the slices and uh, position the text. We are just about done. So these are my slices, and they're all numbered. I'll just assign the slices to a new layer and hide the nerves geometry. So these are the elements for nesting. I'll just uh, draw the 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 sheet. This is a 1,000 by 700 millimeter sheet. And now, using the optimized optic position, I'll organize the the slices on the sheet. So, select the sheets. Press Enter. Press enter again. So you can see we have 90 ish elements going for unique sheets. And then I'll just uh, select the sheet like this. You can see the size. Enable multi sheet. Now I'll decide the, the distance between the nested elements. Twelve millimeters refer to the distance to the sheet perimeter. So just set it up like this, click execute, and wait. This is going to take a while.
Okay, we're done. I'll just organize the elements in uh, different layers. So first of all, the text. Zooming in, you can see it's grouped now. So I select all the parts and ungroup them. Now I can select the text again. Use the uh, select color to select all the text parts and then assign it to the text layer. I'll do the same for, for the curves. Okay, so the sheets are just for reference. I'm not going to cut those. So I'll put them on a different layer. Okay. I'm just going to select the curves, make sure they uh, have the correct color. So in the preference, I select display color instead of varies, then go for by layer. So now you can see they reflect the green layer. Same goes for, for the text. Instead of red, just go for by layer. This way you can organize your the content of your drawings and see what layer they're positioned in. Okay. Just select it all. Export selected. And we need to export it for as a DWG file. In the settings, go for 2004, natural, and then just uh, check the settings. There's uh, one parameter you can change here, depending on the detail. This is now a, a two degree detail. If you go up, you get a less detail curve. I think I'll just uh, stick to four. Click close. And it will ask you to override. I'll just override it. Okay, so the file is exported. Now we're in AutoCAD. I loaded the laser cutter template. It's available from the art drive. Now open your file from Rhino. This is the one. Copy the elements and paste it in your template file. Like this. Now we need to put things in the correct layers. So first of all, I select the text and I assign it to the pen one layer. This is the first layer that will be cut. Then I need to select the curves. I just type select similar and make sure they're positioned on the pen two layer. Now uh, let's go for the text. We need to, to change this true type font to something uh, made from just one line. So I select all the text parts. Instead of Arial, go for the dim type or the dim font like this. It's a single line text. And I mean, you cannot see anything right now. It's because it's uh, you just have to, to explode this part and you'll see the, the result. So that's it. This is the exploded text and you can see it goes like this for all the parts. Okay, almost there. Just uh, move this to your cutting area. Like this. And I just need to do a final check and see if every part is uh, the right uh, line thickness. So everything should be set to by layer and by layer. And here you can see the text. There might be an issue here. So this one is set to AutoCAD something. I'll just select all the text, put it to by layer. Also for the thickness, that's very important. This must be by layer 2. Okay, that's it. We are ready to cut now.